What's going on guys, Ryan Wasselcheck here, and today we're installing some sumo springs on the stunt rig. Unlike airbag systems, sumo springs require no air, lines, or compressors, guaranteed to not fail on you out the road. So I am doing this job on an alignment rack because I work at a shop and have access to one. It makes filming it a lot easier and the job a little easier, but you can definitely do this job on your own in your driveway. I don't even think that you have to jack the vehicle up. I believe the only reason it says you may have to jack it up and use floor jacks and uh, jack stands and all that stuff is if you can't physically get underneath the van to gain access to the bump stops and remove them. In my case, I have a Ford E350. It's also lifted three-ish inches with bigger tires and they're fairly easy to just get up underneath here and get to the bump stop. All right, so starting off with the fronts, Inside the box, we got the two sumo springs, a couple stickers, a little thank you card, and our installation instructions. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and start by removing this passenger side bump stop. It's got a hole up here with a nut or a bolt. I'm pretty sure it's just a bolt, and the whole thing threads up into the frame. 10 millimeter socket fits it. It's a little tight. We're just gonna be on the safe side. And spray a little penetrating oil up in there. If you have a newer truck, a little easier. I live in North Carolina, so there isn't a whole lot of um, rust and stuff like that. I want to make sure those threads stay as happy as possible so that we can just thread the new one right in. Slide the new one up in here, threading this guy in as carefully and straight as possible. You don't want to cross thread. Nice and easy. The rears come with some spacer blocks. So we're at the rear of the van now. These stock bump stops don't ever make contact with the rear end, but what the Sumo Springs will do is give it a lower point of contact and act like an airbag. That way the rear end can come up and make contact with that Sumo Spring and uh, overall more comfortable ride. All right, and just like that, got my washer and my new nut. I'm gonna slide this up here in this situation through this bracket our washer on. Go ahead and begin snugging this up. I don't want to over tighten it, but it's a nylon lock nut, so should tighten pretty good. There we go. Um, rear sumo spring installed. Tighten the nut on the top. Super simple. And we're gonna move on to the other side. All right, there you go. Rear sumo springs installed. Front sumo springs installed. Let's go test these bad boys out.